Hello, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Run of Beer Review, Beer Umentary section, uh, segment. We are here at Alora Brewing Company in Alora, Ontario. Let's go for a beer. Good day, Matt. Good day, welcome. How you doing? I'm great. How about yourself? I'm good, thanks. You want me to show you around? Yes, please. Okay, awesome. So this is our retail area which just got online last Friday, so it's pretty exciting. Um, this is our beer fridge. This is where we have our seasonals, our regular beers for the public to take home. Um, and then to your left, uh, this is where we display our ceramic growlers as part of our founding friendship members club. So for a price, you can purchase one of these, which are numbered on the bottom, one to a hundred, and then you have privy to various events that we have, first tastings for beer, one growler for the week, all that kind of stuff. And our merchandise, t-shirts, glassware. So moving into the ground floor dining and bar area, we have bar with eight taps, four of ours and four guest taps. Um, seating for about 60 people down here. Come on in. Right, we'll go upstairs and then we'll finish down here. So is the plan always to have four viewers and four guests? Or? Uh, it's actually to have two guests okay. eventually and then six of ours. Like two rotating tabs of your own? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So here's our upstairs area. It's pretty hazy right now because Alex is doing a brew. But this is a pretty special part of the building because we took out the third floor that used to be there and there were tin ceiling tiles on the ceiling here and we took those and put them on the front of the bar and decorated the bar with the old trim and baseboard that we found up here. Original floors, more of the tables that we took away from Joyce. Oh, this would be a great like little event space. Yeah, it is. We had an event here last night. Mezzanine at the front, so you can see down the retail area. And a great view of the brewery from up here. Yeah, and a great view of the brewery. Oh man, those are pretty damn big pants for a startup. You guys, you guys went right first time, eh? Well, that is one of the things we learned from when we were talking before about all our craft beer buddies. They said if one thing that they could impart on us is to buy tanks at size to start instead of upgrade. So we have four 40 heck fermenters, so 4,000 liters each. For the people at home in, uh, in YouTube land, that's 8,000 pints per tank. Which is enough for me for a few days. Yeah, just a couple, a weekend. Yeah. But if we look over at the at the brew floor, Alex is brewing right now. So there's a small white pipe that goes to the back building. That's where all of our structural stuff is and our grist stone. So we grind our grain in the back and it gets a flat solder right under the mash tun. Our hot liquor tank in the far corner makes the mash. And it gets pumped over to the water top to the top deck. And then get set down either and go to the kettle or open the strap. So it's a pretty cool system to grab the bed down the bed. But we can actually do part of our brewing where we can make a really sort of imperial style mash and then split it into two to have two different styles of flavors that are run the same way. And so we can do that to a good time. You can fill up a few cementers and two different styles of flavors that you can go um, and along the back wall as well, and then these two are our bright tanks, which are the same size as our fermenters as well. So, is it double brewed to fill up a fermenter here? No, that's actually, those tanks are um, 10 hacks, so it's four brews to one fermenter. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's doing it, but it, it's pretty cool. So if you do the particle style brewing, all it really is is it's two main brews, with particle style, you do it at a more imperial style, sugary, more intense mash, and then you can split them off into two and fill up half the fermenter on it. So if, if, if you do it right, it can be done 
it can be done very efficiently. Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually been to many that have the, uh, the double board. Yeah, so our system we purchased in China came over on four crates. We had some initial setup issues, but it wasn't that bad. Say, did you have any leaks? We, well, it was more like it's kind of, it's like a giant Lego kit that shows up at your, on your doorstep, right? So, there were some things, we had to pull in some stainless steel guys, and, and they did a really good job, but for the most part, it was still an economic issue for us. Well, yeah, the equipment worked. Yeah. Yeah, and, I mean, right from the start, from the first brew, it was successful with the apple pie, and, and he's only getting more refined at it, so it's proving to be a good purchase. Let's see how uh, is that your bottle or wine and all No, that's okay. That's, 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 that's our keg cleaner down there um, in the center of the floor there. So all the wet, pretty wet system, so it all sort of spills out on the floor and into the yep. drains. And over here we have the HDP double bottle filler right over here. So somebody takes a lot of time filling up all the bottles. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good though. Well, it's a great thing, and I, I, I talk about that a lot too. Like a lot of breweries will open up and only have growlers. Not everybody wants to bring home a growler. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, a double bottle filler or even a single bottle filler, pain in the ass, yes, but yep. it's so much nicer than the consumer feel for a single bottle. It's good, and we sell four packs and singles as well, so it's only about, we have it down to about 20 seconds with purges for two fills, so. Oh, it can move. It can move pretty quickly. If we have a couple guys on it, we can really get through some bottles. It's a nice little filler. A nice little brew house. Yeah. So we'll go down the stairs here, yeah. and then we'll come back. We have Chef Ben and, uh, and Chewy over there, drilling it up, making it right. A lot of our storage, etc. is downstairs, and then our water systems are down there as well. And then there's Full Circle.